हे एवरी वन टूडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डिस्टिलेशन प्रोसेस द डिस्टिलेशन प्रोसेस इज एक्चुअली इट इज यूज टू सेपरेट एल्कोहॉल एंड वॉटर फ्रॉम द वॉश वी विल लर्न अबाउट दिस प्रोसेस एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ डिस्टिलेशन दैट आर यूज ऑन द इंडस्ट्रियल बेसिस so what is distillation it is actually the process of separating components of a mixture based on different boiling points now for here for this example now uh, for alcohol the boiling point is 78.37 degrees celsius and for water of course it is 100 degrees celsius so you can understand that alcohol will vaporize faster than water and so the liquid will separate now uh, to uh, talk about it more in details we'll talk about in the later parts now the difference in the boiling point of water and alcohol is actually utilized to separate these liquids now how it's done we'll talk about it later when we'll be talking about the pot still and patent still which are the types of distillations now why is distillation done why is it important it's actually done to increase the ethyl alcohol level in the spirit now uh, for making it simpler what happens is when the first batch of water and alcohol concentrated liquid is uh, distilled it increases the level to uh, of ethyl alcohol to around 20% abv to 40% abv but you see that after the dilution uh, and uh, before bottling it might the abv might go under 15% uh, 15% so the distillation is done continuously for more than once using the head and tail we'll talk about head and tail later so that the ethyl alcohol level can reach above the uh, bottled abv uh now we will be talking about the pot still uh pot stills are used to make many of the world's greatest spirit styles such as uh, your single malt scotch like uh, i'll talk about middleton whiskey or the red breast whiskey uh it is also used to make cognac many many kind of rums dark rums especially and uh, most of the mezcals uh pot stills are actually the oldest methods of distilling spirits is actually a pot uh, through which a pipe is uh, uh, is attached which after that uh, the there is a condenser through which the vapors uh travels and the condensers condenses the vapor into liquid and then we get the uh, uh alcohol so what ha- what is it it is is it it is a large enclosed vessel which looks like a pot it has a cylindrical bulb at the top now what happens is there is a heat source uh the pot is heated from the bottom and it is maintained at the temperature uh, which is basically around 78.37 degrees celsius only so that only the alcohol vapors uh uh our uh, passes through now this bulb and a vapor line which is uh, basically your lin arm this is uh, helps in separation of liquid particles from the vapor so uh, whenever any like uh, though your alcohol vapor will pass through your lin arm but some times the impurities or what we will call congeners which are uh, basically impurities these might pass through with your uh alcohol vapor so this bulb and vapor line helps in separation of that liquid uh this tube which i told about vapor line which is lin arm this help uh, provides the path for the vapors to reach the condenser and then when the vapor reaches the condensers the condenser condenses the liquid and it is collected in a pot 
uh, the process the i have already told you the process but we'll talk about it uh, in a much simpler way what the step 1 you can see it in the diagram you'll be able to understand it better the vessel is heated from the bottom then it is brought up to the boiling point of alcohol uh, the all uh, the alcohol passes through this lin arm and uh, it pass uh, goes towards the condenser the condenser is uh, filled up with the cold water so the pipes are actually kind of chilled uh, then uh, the vapor or condenses into liquid and it's collected in the collector the uh, this is collected in the collector of course chill which is also called column chill continuous chill and coffee chill there are too many names about it uh, these column chills are preferred for neutral spirits like your gin and vodka they are all, uh, often uh, used in bourbon and brandy and also in white rum distillation processes so what this is it is a tall cylindrical columns there will be two cylindrical columns one is called an analyzer and one is called a rectifier these two cylinder columns are filled with perforated plates the analyzer is filled with perforated plates onto which water rich vapor condenses and alcohol rich vapor passes through now the heat source in this is a live steam which is placed at the bottom this steam pressure actually holds the liquid on the plates and the liquid on each plate is maintained so what happens is that the liquid which is maintained on the plate it is maintained such a way that the liquid doesn't overcrowd or undercrowd and the alcohol vapor can pass through them easily the use of number of plates in this chill is also essential for the type of product we want like how many plates should be there to get a, a kind of product looking at the diagram you can see that uh, the second number pipe is the live steam the steam pressure uh, holds the liquid on the plates and uh, the alcohol rich vapor passes through the number 4 pipe and it goes to the condenser where it gets condensed and it is uh, taken out by the number 7 pipe which is at the last blue colored the spirit there also there are uh, different uh, pipes you can see the five number and there's a red pipe so all of this the five number is where the less volatile components are recycled so these are taken out and again uh, filled up in the analyzer which is the a part uh, so that more uh, the head and tail they are again taken uh, inside this so that we can get more uh, liquid uh, sorry your uh, more alcohol uh, rich vapors later on and because this is a continuous process it's called continuous still distillation so this is generally done for a uh, for your uh, uh, gin uh, vodka and uh, e uh, mostly every uh, white spirit and it's a continuous process so it provides bigger batches than your pot the difference between the two types of uh, distillation processes uh, one is pot still and another column still so basically pot still is a slow process and it requires cleaning after every batch uh this um, uh, brings less concentration of alcohol uh, is obtained as uh, pot still provides us with the around 40 to 65% of alcohol and more congeners more impurities are uh, passed through this and the uh, output the, uh, the the the, the uh, there are uh, the uh, what we get is very uh, less uh, when we compare it with the column still uh, whereas column still is a fast process it doesn't require cleaning after every batch because it uh, keeps uh, continuously uh, gets in use it provides high concentration of alcohol and less congeners as congeners are put again in the analyzer uh, after the rectifier and they are uh, processed again and this provides a high output 
this uh, difference is uh, put here basically for the IHM students if they want to understand it much better uh, this uh, provides them a better look as the distillation process continues the heat in the still continues to rise as uh, more alcohol leaves the liquid being distilled so this has the interesting effects of causing certain flavors and aromas to be released in the still at different times so this is the basically what i'm telling is how hard head heart and tail is made and how they are uh, separated the first compound that is released in the still as it heats up are the lower boiling point compounds which is called heads these compounds includes methanol acetyl acetyl dehyde and lighter esters the overall aroma of these chemicals is uh, not very pleasant and uh, it's something we want to have it, it 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 isn't something that we want to have in our spirits so uh, these can be toxic to human uh, 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 we have methanol in this so we get rid of this and uh, uh, we get rid of this so uh, the head doesn't come into the final product now once the distiller the still master makes the first cut it uh, eliminates the head the heads are generally either disposed of or redistilled to collect more alcohol from them so the after the distiller has decided the quality of incoming distillate is good enough to keep for the drinking purposes they will cut to her hearts now this hearts are ultimately what becomes the finished product they contain the bulk of ethanol we want along with the flavors and aroma that make our spirit unique so uh, this is where we get the heart this is our final product eventually the emerging heart distillate will steadily take on an unpleasing aroma and flavors why because uh, even uh, it develops some bitterness why because the continuous heat will make it uh, unpleasant and the distillate at this point is called the tail and it has increasingly lower amount of alcohol and higher amount of bad aromas due to the growing amount of uh, fusel alcohol which comes from the still so this tail just like head is either disposed of or collected from the uh, is uh, is redistilled and to collect more alcohol from them you can see in the diagram how uh, 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 how how it is shown and uh, you will able to understand what head heart and tail is so i hope you like the video and how i presented it and uh, the feedback any feedback will be taken seriously so please comment uh, of course like share and subscribe uh, do subscribe so you can uh, have updates upon my videos and uh, uh, new videos will be coming about your yeah, beer whiskies and everything the regions and everything so do stick on the channel thank you for watching